Hi, my name is Tony and today I'll show you how to make this bag from start to finish using the X-Tool P2 laser cutter. Welcome back everyone. Today another demonstration of what the X-Tool P2 laser can do for you. For those of you who've watched my previous videos on this particular machine, you already know how versatile it is. But today we'll use the laser cutter to make a small leather bag and even add some engravings up with the help of the P2's dual camera system and its free software. Now the X-Tool P2 stands out in the market with a few features tailored for both hobbyists and professionals like the very large working area or the power of the included laser all right one of the things that sets it apart at least for me is the dual camera system which is very useful with materials and design placement for more projects like this bag which you will see during this video. So we're gonna use this laser to make this bag. I'm gonna run you through the entire process and we will start by downloading the files using the links I left down in the video description. They're absolutely free and you can thank me in the comments because they will also include the engraving design I'm gonna use in this video. It looks amazing and it took me a few seconds to create using AI. Here is how I did it. Step one, I logged into my Mid Journey account, but DALI 4 or anything else you have will work. I type round Celtic black and white motif vector style of two dragon heads and then hit the generate button. I picked the one I liked and I saved it to my computer as a JPEG. Step two, I went to conversio.co and converted the image into a DXF file that can be used by this machine. And that's it. Obviously, you can generate any design you want or even a logo for your business, but just make sure you mention the words black and white and vector style in your prompt. Next, let's use the laser files we just downloaded. And uh, what I love about this laser cutter is that it comes with its own free software you can use to do all your cutting and engraving. Let me show you how to next. First, launch the Xtool Creative Space app and uh, open the DXF file you downloaded by clicking the image right here. All the pieces you need will be loaded, so what I usually do is delete everything except the piece I want to cut next, like this large one here. The work area, it's pretty big, so plenty of room even for the large pieces like this one. Before we do anything else, we need to measure the material thickness and the P2 will do that automatically with a click of a button. Next, go to settings and make sure precise vector path and DXF file parsing are checked and then select the lines you want to cut and set the power and the speed. Very important advice. Play with these settings and test the results on a piece of scrap first. You want clean cuts with no burn marks. Now use the two cameras to precisely position the leather in the machine. These two cameras make it so easy and that's what I really think this feature is amazing. First use the large camera to see where everything is and then use the closed caption camera to really fit that material or that design in to your liking. And when you're happy with everything, close the lid and start cutting. Thank you. 
And if you want to add some engravings or etch in your logo, simply use the camera function again to get a clear picture of the material and import that DXF file we made earlier. The software lets you scale the design, rotate it and move it in place with great precision right on top of the material. And of course, you can do both the cutting and the engraving at the same time, one single pass. You might have noticed the score button here. Well, let me tell you what that is. This will neither engrave nor cut your material. It will simply etch a very thin contour on the surface, like uh, a super thin permanent marker, for example, all right? This is ideal if you plan to punch the holes manually and use a light color thread for stitching, all right? This will simply mark them on the leather and then you do uh, the boring work later. Of course, of course, you can cut all the stitching holes with this laser machine, no problem at all. You're just gonna have to use a black thread, all right? Like I did with this particular mask right here. After cutting, we move to assembly. This is where we stitch the leather pieces and bring this design to life and it's so so satisfying to see how well the pieces will fit every single time and here is our finished product, a stylish leather bag with an engraved centerpiece customized in any way you or your customer likes it. Every edge and engraving reflects the high quality achievable with this machine right here, the Xtool P2. Now, if you want to see the complete tutorial on how to put this particular bag together, I left a link in the video description for you. But what I really wanted to show you in this video is how to use this big fella right here in your workshop to cut the leather you need for any of your project. Please go ahead and check out the links I left for this cutter and maybe have a look at the other products Xtool has to offer. Plus, currently have a long-term trading promotion running. What that means is if you have an old laser machine or a vinyl cutter, you can go ahead, visit their website and claim an upgrade discount for purchasing a new Xtool machine. And uh, you, don't even, <laughs> you don't even have to return your old one, all right? Just go, I left a link down in the video description, check out all the details. And that's not all. I just got the tremendously fast F1 desktop engraver and when I'm done testing it, I'll post my review so you make sure to subscribe to this channel and get notified when that video drops. But meanwhile, if you have any questions on this laser, drop a comment below. I'll do my best to answer you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next review.